าวดีครับผมเจพีมิสตันซาพบกับภูเก็ตเอ็กซ์ตร้าวันอังคารที่สามสิบมกราคมนี่คือข่าวที่ทุกคนต้องรู้ Officials are confirming that British national Danny Glass, who was facing charges over the death of his pregnant girlfriend in a motorbike accident last year, well, he's been handed a suspended jail sentence and fined 15,000 baht. The accident, which took place in May of last year, saw his girlfriend Sophie Emma Rose Anderson crushed to death under an 18-wheel truck in central Phuket after Glass, who was driving the bike, swerved to avoid a parked car. And she was six months pregnant at the time of the crash. Glass was formally charged with reckless driving, causing death, though he denied the charges. And last week, he was handed an 18-month prison sentence, suspended for two years, however, in addition to a 15,000 baht fine over the fatal crash. Glass's case is now settled, and he has indicated that he will leave Thailand soon. But the case against the driver of the truck involved in the accident is still ongoing, as he denied the charges brought against him. For more on that, visit the phuketnews.com. And plans are now in motion to tackle the rise in teen drug use, with an eye towards mitigating prostitution in the near future as well. Yesterday, nearly 1,000 students took part in a youth anti-drug education event in Wichit, including students who tested positive for drugs in random urine checks at school, which is all part of a 2018 campaign to address the issue. Governor Nora Paplotong attended the event, saying. The random drug checks at schools in Phuket is a proactive measure to help curb drug use among teens. Meanwhile, at Phuket Provincial Hall yesterday, officials discussed plans to prevent and combat prostitution, including measures like brothel and risk area checks. Though more details were left unexplained. And the school director, who is accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a 14-year-old student, He's expected to face charges tomorrow, but his bosses are actually furious that he hasn't shown up to work since the news came out over a week ago. Officials from the Nakhon Ratchasima Provincial Education Office are actually mad that school director Natapop Buntongto has not shown up for work for nearly seven straight days since news of the teacher-student scandal hit the headlines. Though he's scheduled to turn himself over to police tomorrow. Though an investigation into the relationship with the 14-year-old student is still ongoing, there are now accusations that he also solicited sex from a 13-year-old friend of hers. Though he has yet to respond to those allegations, the scandal hit headlines last week after locals in the area filed a complaint with police, who also said he was transferred to the school in their region following rumors that he had another inappropriate relationship with another student at his previous school. Though those are still allegations. And sit tight, Puka Dexter. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Puka Dexter. After a dive tour boat was banned last week from returning to a popular dive site off PP Island, the dive tour company associated with the boat is vehemently defending its practices. The issue started last week when the chief of the Department of Marine and Coastal Resources in Krabi Office they officially banned the North Star boat, which operates for Happy Star Tour Co Ltd, from re-entering a section off PP Island. After a group of divers held a sign on a coral head congratulating a friend for completing 200 dives, since then the company has received strong support from Phuket's dive community through online comments. And a manager of Happy Star Tour Co Ltd said they warned the divers not to hold the sign in the coral, but they didn't listen and they did it anyway, saying they do not tolerate that behavior. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. And the weekend's protest in Bangkok saw over a hundred people come out to support elections for this year, but the seven activists who were thought to organize the whole thing are being charged by police. Thailand is ruled by the military junta, known as the National Council for Peace and Order, or the NCPO, and they've specifically banned public gatherings of five or more people unless permission is granted. That's exactly the law police say was broken by the seven activists, which include members of the so-called Democratic Rehabilitation Group, with members who previously organized rallies last year as well. 
Police say they plan to look into whether the group are receiving financial support, but the protest did come just days after the National Legislative Assembly extended enforcement of the last remaining organic law, which essentially postpones the election that was supposed to be from November, well, it's postponed about 90 days, set for tentatively February 2019. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube or thepuketnews.com, you can check out all these stories on the links below. We'll leave you with these scenes from Bangkok Hospital's latest video on the Thai Mr. Bean, who not only has similar antics to the real Mr. Bean in England, but he also came out to support some of the patients over there staying at Bangkok Hospital. Check out the video in the link below. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching and until tomorrow, Stay classy, Phuket. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadee kap. We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.